Oh, what's good, YouTube? Welcome back to another reaction. Today, we have Kurz with the side effects of vaccines. How high is the risk? To be honest, I've been watching a lot of stuff to do with, like, viruses, diseases, immune systems and stuff. So, this is really interesting. It's leading from uh, the other videos that I've watched as well. So, uh, yeah, vaccines. Are they actually risky? Like, what's going on here? Let's check it out, man. Vaccines are celebrated for their part in fighting disease. But a growing group of people seem to believe that they endanger our health instead of protecting it. There's quite the a lot that fit that way. Full of stories about allergic reactions, the onset of Honestly, my opinion about all of this is that you know, your body is your body, right? So if you want it, have it. If you don't and you really don't want it, don't have it, right? It's your body at the end of the day. My opinion is if it's something that's like is needed, like I've I've, I've had vaccines, obviously for important stuff, but like if it was really, really needed, then sure, like just you know, you know, they will know best. They can hear me. Let's be done with it. Disabilities and even death following vaccination appointments. Oh and shit, it's true. what the Vaccines fuck? Vaccines can have side effects. Let's look at how they work and how dangerous they really are. Bro, we just. <laughs> I just gave you guys a 10 minute in, um, introduction before the introduction. Your immune system is a complex army of billions of cells. Yeah. Soldiers, intelligence cells, and weapons factory before i yo i i know that i pause it so much but before we do watch this right listen listen after this video before this video even now check out the immune systems on my video on my channel or their channel that they're, they're, they're actually insane every they're day insane. you're attacked countless times but your immune soldiers alone usually deal with that so you don't even notice if an infection becomes serious though our intelligence cells gather intel about the attackers and activate our weapons factories you know the weapon, antibodies. They're like targeted missiles, produced specifically to combat the invader. Unfortunately, this process takes several days to complete. And that's why you're that for seven days? That intruders a lot of time to do damage. Oh yeah, for sure. Contrary to popular... Oh man, what they could do in a few days, wisdom, holy... What doesn't kill you, doesn't make you stronger. Our... Yeah, we got a little bit of a song going on. Bodies here. really don't want to fight serious wars over and over. So our immune system came up with an ingenious way to get stronger and stronger over time. If we fight an enemy that is dangerous enough to trigger our heavy weapons, our immune system automatically creates memory, memory cells. cells. Memory cells remain in our body for years in a deep sleep. I can't lie, the amount of goddamn immune system figures I've seen, <laughs> holy fuck. They do nothing but remember. I feel so knowledgeable right now. When an enemy attacks for a second it's time, so cool how the these slumbering work. memory cells awaken and order coordinated attacks and the production of antibodies. This is so fast and effective that many infections you beat once will never make you sick yeah. again. You might even be immune against them forever, which is also why little kids are constantly ill. They don't have enough memory cells yet. And this beautiful natural mechanism... It makes sense now, though. Now that you, like, you, you, you know how the immune system works and stuff, um, like, you're always, like, you... I, I would say before, like, even, like, five years ago, I'd be like, you're always young, like, ill as a kid. And then when you get past, like, a certain age, like, for me, it was, like, 16 or something. I never got ill, ever. ...is what we build on when we use vaccines. How vaccines work... As great as memory right, cells we are, go. obtaining them through an infection is unpleasant and sometimes dangerous. Vaccines are a way of tricking our bodies into making memory cells and becoming immune to a disease. Uh. They pretend to be a dangerous infection. One way of doing this is to inject invaders that can't do harm. For example, by killing them or by ripping them into pieces. Our immune systems deal with these kinds of vaccines pretty easily. Oh, and they just put a little bit of the virus in there. It, 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 is that how they work? Sometimes it's necessary. Otherwise, otherwise, how would they know? How would the memory cells know how to deal with the virus if they're not the virus? They just, yeah. To make our immune system work harder, though, to produce even more memory cells. Live vaccines are the real deal. An enemy that can punch back is a bigger challenge than a dead one. But this also sounds like a sort oh, of. Oh, they get. Wait, how do you get a dead? How do they get dead viruses? Idea. What if the germs win? To avoid that, we breed a sort of weak cousin of the real germ in the lab. Just powerful enough to annoy the immune system and create what enough memory cells. Okay, 
So these are the basic principles of vaccine use. How would you know what's a weak virus and a strong virus? They like, how, how do we have that technology? In our bodies that makes us become immune against very dangerous diseases. Some, like the flu virus, mutate so often that we need a new vaccine every year, but most vaccines protect us for years or even a lifetime. I'm not a flu vaccine but for so long. There's a catch. Like everything in life, vaccines have another side. Side effects. What are they? And what happens if your child develops one? The risks of vaccines. It's complicated to directly compare the side effects of vaccines with the effects of diseases. For example, hundreds of millions of people are vaccinated against measles yeah. in the West, but there were only 83,000 cases in Europe in 2018. So with numbers that different, even mild side effects can seem scary compared to the bad effects of a disease that we don't see as much anymore. 100%. Before the measles vaccine became available in 1963, virtually every single child on Earth contracted measles at some point. An estimate what? That was only before 1963? Mated 135 million cases in the 1950s. What? Every single year. But are measles really that dangerous in the year 2019 with our advanced healthcare and new technologies? Are they worth the risk of vaccine side effects? Let's do a thought experiment based on real numbers. Imagine a developed country in a parallel world. It has good healthcare, but people stop vaccinating. In this scenario, let's say 10 million children caught measles. What happens? 9,800,000 or 98% will get a high fever and a very unpleasant rash. Right. Up to 800,000 of them or 8% will suffer from dangerous diarrhea. What the fuck is a dangerous diarrhea? 7% will suffer from an ear infection which can lead to permanent hearing loss. Oh my god. 600,000 kids or 6% will suffer from pneumonia, the most dangerous effect of measles. It alone will kill 12,000 children. Wow. Up to 10,000 children or 0.1% will get encephalitis. The 2, fuck? What the hell is encephalitis? Kids or 0.025% will contract SSPE, a disease where the measles virus lingers in their brain and kills them a few years later. Wow. Taken together, around 2.5 million children will suffer from somewhat serious effects from measles and about 20,000 children will be killed by measles. It doesn't stop here though. Is, is that yearly? The kids who beat measles are left with a severely damaged immune system that yeah. needs a lot of time to regenerate. Time for other diseases to do further damage. Aside from that, what's almost guaranteed is that your kids will have a really bad time for about two weeks. Okay, but what about vaccines? It's only fair to look at these risks too. So let's repeat our thought experiment, but this time we vaccinate 10 million children with MMR. What would theoretically happen here? After being vaccinated... At what point in your life do you get this vaccine? Because like, we would all have it, right? Fever. After being vaccinated, of our 10 million kids, around 10% get a fever. 500,000 or 5% 5 will get a mild rash. Oh, this is way Up less. Up to 100 or 0.001% might have a serious allergic reaction and will have to be treated. This is Up way to less. 10 boys or 0.0001% might get inflammation of the genitalia. And up to 10 kids in total, or 0, 0.00. This just shows that, like, no matter the numbers and how much help it's doing, that the 10 of encephal whatever this is, right? The, the 10 of these will be in the news, right? Or how many will die will be in the news of, like, as a cause of va for vaccine, and people be like, no, 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 vaccine. You know what I mean? Zero one percent might get the most serious side effects. Even though if you don't have the vaccine, the numbers is way higher. So we vaccinated 10 million kids. In total, around 120 had side effects that were somewhat serious. But th that would be a big number in the news, you know what I mean? Thanks to good medical treatment in developed regions, almost all of them will be fine. Cop it. Yeah. Chill what on. about autism? The connection of autism and vaccines stems from one source that has been disproven countless times. We'll link to further reading and videos. Why? Did people say that uh, vaccines give you autism? Description. But in 2019, it's fair to say that vaccines do not cause autism. 
All right, but what I about never knew that was a thing. It's really hard to say if even a single one of our 10 million vaccinated kids would die. We really did look hard and talk to a lot of different experts. If we ignore self-reporting, we could only come up with a tiny handful of documented cases for all the hundreds of millions of children who received the MMR vaccine since there 1971. There you go. Like, that's all you need, Measles right? Measles are many, many thousands of times more dangerous for your child than even the absolute worst case of vaccine yeah, side effects. Yeah, 100%. You have to search for lethal vaccine side effects with a huge magnifying glass, and even then, it's very hard to find confirmed cases. But then again, this is talking about measles, right? And measles is very bad. So, like, for example, let's talk about, like, a... What, what, what's, like, the weakest... What's, like, the weakest of the virus that you would need a vaccine for, right? And then compare the stats there. Do you know what I mean? It, 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 to, compared to this... Would probably be nothing there as well. While deaths from measles are real and easy to find. In 2017 alone, 110,000 people died from measles worldwide. What the fuck? Statistically, today, 300 children will die of measles. One what? since this video started. You can compare vaccines to seatbelts. Are there weird... Bro, why did he have to say that like that, man? Why did he say one child since this video started? His dad, bro, that, that's just so like fuck's sake. Kick accidents where someone gets killed by their seatbelt. How do I figure like, shit well, like that? Yes. But do you personally think it's safer to not put a seatbelt on your kid? Wait a second. What if your kid is actually allergic? What if none of the things we've said applies to your specific situation? In this case, you need to become the greatest vaccination promoter of all. Because if your children can't be vaccinated, only the collective can protect them. This is called mm. herd immunity, and it's the only thing that can protect your unvaccinated child. Herd immunity means yeah. that enough people are immune to a disease that it can't spread and dies before it reaches its victims. But to accomplish this for measles alone, 95% of the people around you need to be vaccinated. Conclusion. The problem with the... I don't even know if I'm vaccinated for anything. I'm not going to lie. I hope my mum's got me vaccinated. Cause I, I only remember one jab. No, actually two jabs. One in school and one in college. I can't remember any other jabs. The debate about vaccines is that it's not fought on a level playing field. While the pro-vaccine side argues with studies and statistics, the arguments against them are usually a wild mixture of gut feeling, anecdotes and misinformation. And feelings are often immune to facts. We'll not convince anybody by screaming at them, but we can't hide from the reality of what anti-vaccine conspiracies do. They kill babies too young to be vaccinated. They kill healthy children that are just unlucky. They bring serious diseases back from the verge of extinction. And the biggest side effect of vaccines is fewer dead children. Vaccines wow. are the most powerful tool. This video, <laughs> to anyone that's like against vaccine, this video is like a big fuck you. Like, you know what I mean? We have to eradicate the monsters that most of us have all. Wow, you're complaining about less children dying? Wow. Already forgotten. Let's not bring the beasts back. Really good video, though. Really, really, really good video yet again. Enjoyed that one. Hopefully, you guys did enjoy it too. If you did, make sure you leave a thumbs up. Make sure you guys subscribe for more content. And I'll see you all in the next video.